it's very difficult to get things started the momentum difficult to achieve but once you have that and if you let go of it it's very difficult to you have to do a lot of cycle again welcome to your new episode of wish i knew that before my name is amit pandey and here we bring on guests from different walks of life to discuss ideas answer questions that can really help a young adult navigate the journey of life a bit better the guest for today's show is none other than this guy in pink t-shirt <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's up what's up um wish i knew that before that it's going to take me more than one year to release another episode of this podcast <laughs> what can i say i'm a busy man you know or or probably a lazy man <laughs> there there are several several different reasons for it and um i'll talk about it a little bit in later in the episode um but a big update as you can see the setup has changed it looks different as compared to the ones that you would have seen in the previous episodes or the one uh, the episodes that would follow this episode because most of them were shot back in Los Angeles and right now I'm here in France oui oui bonjour au oh, bonsoir où que vous soyez that means good morning or good evening to you wherever you are yeah I'm trying to practice or flaunt a little bit of my French even though I had to google most of it. Um yeah. <laughs> I made the transition on May 15th and um, I will be here till December 31st. I came here to do some knowledge sharing with the new French research team that they have started over here, uh, work alongside with them, learn from them and then return back. So that's why here that's why i am here in france so that's the update on that as i was thinking about like how do i structure this episode as this is like my coming of uh, coming after uh, ages uh, wala episode so how should i structure this and there were so many ideas that came to my mind um but later i was like no just keep it simple just just have a heart to heart and i think there are so many things that um have happened in the course of time that i would love to share i would love to share what's coming up for me we can talk about why i did not post um episodes uh what was going on on that end because that is also important um and my we can talk about uh, the the topic that's coming up quite a lot for me like uh, i'm i'm 28 now so my parents are like when are you getting married married so we can talk a little bit about marriage so it might be a little bit less of um, the 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 quirky the fun side of amit that you always see and maybe um a side that is true to where i am right now so let's talk about that So the first one why I did not post episodes or like so many people ask me that hey um I I remember that you had a podcast <laughs> is it gone uh, into stone age like what's going on um and that question would always bother me because that would be a reminder that hey what are you doing are you working what are you, what's going on you started with a big bang that hey this is what I'm doing and um you have not being posting about it not showing up what's going on so there are several different reasons there are two big reasons for it the first one being um that i was traveling a lot i was going to a lot of events a lot of gatherings um my with with full time job as well so my schedule was all over the place um 
when i was working on the podcast when it started it was pandemic i had a lot of time to you know no one was traveling we were at home and it was like a lot of time to commit to um but as start things started to open up i started to go out more um i did 29 or 29 everesting that was that's a core memory of something really hard that i did you guys should take check out 29 or 29 everesting um i trained and ran for my first half marathon with Kyle Peace Foundation where I had to like push an injured athlete in Atlanta so that was fun uh, my parents came to California for the first time it was it was their first international trip and it was it still can get me emotional that it was it was a big dream of mine to uh, get them to US at least once um while I'm here uh and that happened so that was fun <laughs> and um because of all of that i just couldn't keep up with um producing the podcast or working on it because as i am doing most of the stuff um it's just if i am not there things don't move forward so it was very difficult for me to move the needle on the podcast without um disruptions for weeks and it continued so that's what happened that was one of the big reasons why um the entire one one and a half years i was like just out doing a lot of things and couldn't keep up um having said that if i'm being honest here i would also have to acknowledge that there were days where i could have gotten back to it but i did not get back to it and i think the biggest reasons for that was and this is the second reason that there was a lack of routine there was a lack of uh focus there was a lack of um uh, commitment uh momentum i would say um to it and it was very difficult for me to um, um get back to it it was very easier for me to convince myself to just lay in bed and you know read another book <coughs> facebook um <laughs> uh just just lay and not do it um and even on the days when i would sit to work on it i would quickly lose focus and something else urgent would come up like washing clothes or something else that i need to do that i had to leave that so that's that's the second reason but the key lesson that i learned over there was it's very difficult to get things started the momentum is uh, difficult to achieve but once you have that and if you let go of it it's very difficult to uh, you have to do a lot of cycle again because once you get into the flow once you get into the routines the habits of working at it um it's it's you shouldn't leave it like just like that so i think for me um the lesson over there is even if i can work going forward also even if i can work for just 15 minutes on the podcast that's fine that's fine 15 minutes it's much better than a month of nothing i think that is what i'm going to do going forward that even if i can move the ball a little bit um i will do that so hopefully in the future i'm keeping my fingers crossed um that i'll be able to bring out more episodes and um the the volume of the episodes might still be the same like 7 to 8 of them because with full time job it's really tough to do everything editing and still put out um the content but at least now the hiatus period between these uh, episodes would be quite less so let's 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 keep it keep it at that so let's talk about marriage as i said um a lot of lot of people they go through this problem um where when they turn a certain age they start to question uh, or they they are faced with a lot of questions like around marriage that when are you getting married uh, uh don't you have a job um you're earning well no Why, uh, then then what's stopping you to get married uh is everything okay with you what's going on hey hey 
I think I think that's the phase of life that I am in right now. Um, I had I saw so many of my close friends. I saw them get married. Um, my uh, so many of the people that I grew up with, not that close friends with them, but they get they got married. So many of them, all they already have kids, you know, and. There was this video by Emma Watson that one day I was watching and she was talking about something very similar that you just don't care that much when you're in your mid 20s and you know you're relaxed chill and that's what how my life was also just relaxed chill enjoying experimenting and experiencing new stuff and cut to 28 um and for her it was like cut to 29 um she said she also felt the pressure of that you don't have a house you don't have quote and quote a partner you um um you are not well settled enough according to the society standards and it hits you it hits you and i think i think um it it definitely hits me as well because how i see it is more than more than i think the society you know when i go back to india a lot of my relatives they are behind me uh, even my mom and dad they want me to get married um, because they feel that would bring a lot of happiness and joy in my life uh, and for me i think more than anyone else um i think it's 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 me who had some way accepted the fact that um sure this is what life is you know that's what that's what i saw around me that you uh, study up to a certain age you get um, um a job and then you get married you build a house car and that's how life is and i think it was somewhere buried deep down inside and that's why accepting the fact that today in this in this present version of me marriage is not that exciting for me there's so many other things it's not that i'm against marriage Uh, it's not that i'm against uh, dating i'm i'm very pro dating if there is anyone <laughs> but um but it's more of that at this moment the idea of marriage is not that exciting and there are reasons that i'll talk about um and i think i think being true to that and also with this notion that this is what i have accepted deep down inside that this is how life is like why aren't you doing it you know this this is this constant ruffle of ruffling of feathers or like a um, clash of these horns between these two ideas um, that's why i am struggling and also there is fear as well which is that i i <sighs> for the longest of time in my life i was always insecure about my looks and my height um and then the question also you know sometimes you question comes like oh amit but uh, what if you don't get a good girl in the future and today you're looking just fine but in the future you'll be a little older and uh, you know like things like that um and it bothers you it bothers you because it's not like i'm against marriage i would love to have a great partner but right now it's not exciting for me who do i listen to who do i listen to <sighs> it's tough it's tough you know when you see so many people around you take a decision and you're like no not for me <laughs> your parents want it your um friends recommend that yeah do it it's fine we have done it <laughs> then why are you standing up like what's your issue just get mad or no thoughts like these 
दे जस्ट बॉद मे बट आई ऑल्सो नो द राइट नाउ द फेज ऑफ लाइफ दैट आई एम एन इट माई जस्ट बी वेरी अनफेयर टू 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 द पार्टनर इफ लेट्स इफ आई डिसाइड टू गेट मैरिड दैट या श्योर लाइक एंड आई हैव बीन ऑन फ्यू अरेंज मैरिज विजिट्स एंड इट हैज़ बीन एन इंटरेस्टिंग जर्नी आई टॉक अबाउट दैट सो लेट्स इफ आई इवन इफ आई गेट मैरिड और लेट्स इवन इफ आई एंटरटेन दैट थाट एंड लाइक जस्ट यू नो पुश फॉरवर्ड विद इट आई थिंक इट वुड बी वेरी अनफेयर बिकॉज माई attention is very diverted and uh, into a lot of different things that are super exciting to me and having a partner right now is not not that exciting and it would be very unfair to the person that would be coming into my life to 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 not give her that attention to not give her that love um and then the question also comes so then bring your attention over there na nah, it's just so i think i think that's where i am at right now which is like okay 28 hit and then there are so many questions that are coming up that you're not settled you're thinking of returning back to india you're not getting married uh, what will you do in india how will you earn money you're unsettled uh, after you go to india you'll be almost 30 you you lord ah ah Whew. and that's how my mind has been um about this topic and um yeah but i think i think the best thing that i see for myself right now is to just trust is to just trust that things would work out i spoke in detail about this with one of my guest um that will be releasing the podcast soon try to be sure and she guided me through it as well that don't do it amma it's it's you might be ruining someone else's life as well Uh, do it when you you truly want to do it you are ready for it and i think right now external factors are probing me more into that direction um and internally i think i'm still very okay with not being married um even in coming 3 4 5 years you know it's just I, it's like i have i i have uh i i know like there is there is just somewhere you know this confidence or this inner um part of me says that dude you'll figure out you'll figure it out i know it there is someone that once you are ready and you manifest it you 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 think about it um they might you will attract someone and hopefully she will like you too and then you will um get married so don't rush into it because the society says don't rush into it because you have fear that it's not going to work out in the future don't rush into it for just rushing into it you know just it has to come from within you have to be ready and i think that's where i am at i i don't feel ready i don't feel that there is right now that thing is quite exciting to me so that's where i am at and i have spoken to a lot of people in my uh, circle as well and uh, they are on similar boats uh, a lot of them want to get married a lot of them are like i don't know But wherever you are I think I'm here too. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Here's the thing. I met, I met I met I met a guy um on this trip in Paris. Great guy, brilliant mind, um studied from um Triple IT in 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 India and he he was talking about his story that 
um, when he was preparing for IITs, not triple IIT, um, his um, he did not secure into the one that he wanted to, and um, he had toiled really hard for the entrance exams. Um, and then when he went and showed the result to his dad, his dad was like, "Sure, we'll we'll we're gonna try um, again. Um, we'll admit you to a place in Kota, and then we'll figure this out." But something within him said, "No, um, I I don't think I want to try. I think I have uh, an admission in Triple IIT. I think it's a great enough college. I just want to go there." He stood up against his dad, not in the way that yeah, I'm gonna fight you. But his dad was very upset. His dad was very upset about it. And but he stood up. He stood up for himself and said, "No, I think this is what I choose." Later in life, uh, when he was about to graduate, he decided not to sit for placements because that did not feel right to him. he had aspirations desires to um come to paris and research and just do phd and work on something else and not earn uh, a lot of money right off um the college because his peers are now earning in lakhs and he's still studying you know so he stood up again to his dad he said that no i'm not going to sit for placements this is what i decide this is what i chose and i think for a lot of us and including me we haven't taken big decisions in our lives for ourselves against making our parents unhappy against making our um the society unhappy against against our own fears our own inhibitions and i think the more you stand up for yourself when these big moments come because they come rare but when you do stand up there is so much more to gain from it there is so much more to gain from it i truly believe i haven't stood up for myself for many times and i didn't even care i didn't even think about it at that time but i know for a matter of fact that i have this somewhere within me that it's so difficult to um just do something that my parents don't like or my um like you know against just the society standards um and this is going to be one of them like the big big one like pushing my marriage uh further ahead and as crazy as it sounds as you know as logical like a lot of people will be like hey what are you even talking about it's your life just do whatever you want to do i get it i get that argument too but it's tough man it's tough different people have different situations and i think um just making peace with it um is somewhere that i am at right now you want to get married you don't want to get married you whatever you want to do see if you can be honest with yourself and stand up for yourself like abhishek did you might disappoint many people you might disappoint many people <sighs> but if that's the truth for you you'll at least make one person happy and that's where i think i want to end this podcast Stand up for yourself, and make that one person happy. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. You were listening to Vishnu that before. This is Amit Pandey. See you next time.